guys, uh, this is the uh, Geralt of Rivia Witcher's Free Income Tax Quest, alright? And mm. it takes place when you're looking for Tamara. And it takes place right about here. Around Oxford Harbor. Right by the uh, quest uh, posting board, I guess you can call it. Alright, so let's... Now you keep going, and you're going to run into a tax collector. Halt! You there! Please wait! You're Geralt of Rivia, are you not? Depends who's asking. Revenue and customs for occupied Tamaria, Dorian branch, represented by yours truly, Deputy Tax Enumerator, Walter Mormite. Honored, I guess. What seems to be the problem? Embrace undeclared income. Excuse me? We've had reports, numerous, that over the last months you've come into a great deal of coin. Quickly. So quickly it's raised suspicions. Don't you have anything better to do? Not at the moment. Make no mistake. You cannot evade this. You must answer my questions promptly and in full. Profession? Witcher. Monster Slayer. Hmm. Sole proprietorship. Service sector. Type of services rendered. Rat pest monster removal. Moving on. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchard area? Might have. Once or twice. Definitely no more than three times. And did you then file a WIPT 30 slash C form with the Revenue and Customs Office for your place of residence? No? As I thought. Hmm. Right. Next. During the current fiscal year, have you engaged in the acquisition of bivalves with the express intention of selling the pearls therein? Even if I have, what's wrong with that? Article 86, Section 3 of the Tax Code. Whosoever purchases goods at an unseemly low price to take advantage of the seller's ignorance shall be subject to a fine equaling 200% of the earnings from any such a transaction. Sound familiar? And now, please answer. Have you or have you not dealt in said pearls? Yeah, unfortunately, on occasion. But I didn't know it was illegal. Ignorantia legis non excusat, as the ancient friends would say. Ignorance of the law excuses no one. Now, for the final question. Have you ever unlawfully acquired another man's movable goods? Chattels? Hmm. Meaning? Oh, a meaning? Have you ever waltzed into someone's home and taken something without their permission? A couple times, but the owners never protested. In the eyes of the law, that is no excuse, my good man. Now, if you could wait for one moment. Compare column B to table 7. Apply the rate for confirmed childless bachelors. A tax credit of 7.3% for practitioners of hazardous professions. And done. Here. What's this? A summons to pay back taxes. Please report to the Vivaldi Bank with this document post haste. But, but I've never paid any taxes, not one copper. Precisely. Yet you've had the obligation always, thus the arrears. I advise you well, do not treat this matter lightly. <sighs> Paper pushers. Okay, so after you do that, you go here. Go to a high risk scare, the high rock square, or whatever the hell it is. All right, hold on.
All right, after you get here, just run over to the bank, pay your taxes, and you will get an easy 100 skill points. Vimy, could you do me a favor? Oh, I fear not. You can't? You see, I've been told you owe back taxes. And that means I can't provide you any services to take care of that wee fucker. And bingo, you just earned a hundred skill points, alright? So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. It's an easy way to make a hundred skill points. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.